What's going on guys? Welcome back to today's video. Today we're going to go over one of the toughest, yet actually the simplest triangle question of all times. And that's going to be similar triangles. Just like all my other videos, this channel is all about making SAT as simple as possible and making your life that much easier. The questions that we're about to go over, they are actually really, really, really simple. But most people end up missing them because first, they don't recognize it. And second, even if they recognize it, they don't really know what to do to solve the question. So make sure you stick till the end, understand exactly how to solve these types of similar triangle questions. And if you're ready to get started, smash the like button and let's get straight into this video. So to give you guys a quick heads up before we start, this video is not going to be, I mean, it can't cover every single topic about triangles because triangle is one of the longest chapters on the SAT. And if I fit everything into this one video, it's going to be over an hour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this triangle chapter into multiple different parts and make videos and release them over time. So as always, guys, we're going to break this video down into three simple steps. First, we're going to break down exactly what these questions look like and how you can recognize that these triangle questions are about similar triangles because Similar triangles is not the only thing about triangles. There could be Pythagorean theorem, 30, 60, special right triangles. It could be trigonometry. It could be anything, but we're going to go over how you can recognize that it's a similar triangle question. Second, we're going to go over the definition of a similar triangle. What exactly is a similar triangle? If you have like a basic understanding on similar triangles, you're going to be able to get the easy ones right. But harder ones are what really count. And if you don't have a solid understanding on what similar triangle is, you're eventually going to miss those questions and your scores are not going to go up. So for your best interest, we're going to spend a little bit of time going over exactly the definition of similar triangles. And third, we're going to go over the tips and tricks to solve these questions as quickly as possible and as accurately as possible. So you get more questions right and start raising your SAT score. So what do these triangle questions actually look like? Well, if you look at the question, it's a triangle question. So they're going to have a lot of triangles in them. And of course, if you see a triangle question, it's not always going to be a similar triangle question. It could be about special right triangles, Pythagorean theorem, trigonometry. It could be any one of those. But a one simple trigger that you can look for to make sure that it's a similar triangle is two triangles. Whenever you see two triangles, that's going to be a very high chance that it's going to be a similar triangle question. First of all here, there's the first triangle right there and there's the second triangle right there. First triangle right here and big second triangle right there. Whether it be two triangles side by side like that or two triangle like a triangle inside of a triangle making two triangles, high chance that it's going to be a similar triangle. If you go back here, there's two triangles right there and there's two triangles right there, two triangles right here, two triangles right here and two triangles right here and they are all about similar triangles. And that's how you recognize that these things are similar triangles. But what do we have to know about similar triangle? Well, you want to know exactly what similar triangle is. And the definition of similar triangles is that if the two triangles have same set of angles, then the side lengths are going to be proportional. So the first part, it says the triangle has same set of angles, right? What does it mean? Let's look at these two examples. Let's say there's a big fat triangle right there and there's a small skinny triangle right there. Let's say the angle measures are 40 and 90 and then 50 for this one, but this one is going to be 50 on the top and 90 and 40 here. Now, if you look at two triangles, even though their placements are a little bit off, we realize that this one has 40, 90 and 50. So their angles are going to be 40, 90 and 50. And for this triangle on the right, it's also going to be 40, 50 and 90, 40, 50 and 90. And even though their locations are a little bit different, they all have same set of angles, right? So if they have same set of angles, we know two triangles are similar. But what does it mean for two triangles to be similar? It means that their side lengths are going to be proportional. And what does it mean to be proportional? Let me explain. So let's say we have two triangles right here and it's going to be a big triangle and a small triangle right there. And angles are going to be 40, 50, and 90, and 40, 50, and 90. And let's say the side lengths are going to be four, five, six right here. And the question tells us that this side length over here is going to be eight. Now, if you look at this question, a side length opposite from 40 is going to be eight. And the side length opposite from 40 is going to be four for the small triangle. So that's a small triangle and that's a large triangle, right? So in order for you to go from small triangle to the large triangle, you have to multiply the side length by two. Now, because our triangles are similar, that means the remaining sides, remaining sides are also going to follow the same proportion times two. And this side is going to be times two as well. 
Does that make sense? Side lengths are proportional, which means they are going to be multiplied by the same number or divided by the same number. So what's our new hypotenuse is going to be six times two is going to be 12 and five times two is going to be 10 right here. So our side lengths are proportional because our triangles are similar. And why are they similar? Because they have same set of angles. If you can kind of recite it this way and back, you are gonna be set on definition of similar triangles. So if you look down here, it says there's going to be a consistent ratio of side lengths, right? So this is going to be useful when you're doing hard question, which we are about to do in about a couple minutes. But when it comes to easy, similar triangle questions, doing this will be enough. And let's try an example just on this and we'll get to this one in a second. Now let's look at this question right here. Triangle ABC and DEF above are similar. How much longer than segment EF is than segment DE? So let's look at this right here. It says A, B, C, E, and D, E, F are similar, which means their angles are going to be corresponding because the question tells us that they are similar. So A is going to be same as D, B is going to be same as E, and F is obviously going to be same as C because they're both right angles. Now, because they are similar, we know that the corresponding side lengths are going to be proportional. That's just how a similar triangle works, right? And the question is asking us to find out how much longer than EF is than segment DE. So our EF is right here and DE is right there. And we're trying to find out how much longer DE is than EF. So how can we find out their difference? As long as you know what DE is and what EF is, you can subtract it, find out the difference, and that's going to be how much longer DE is, which is the answer to our question. So our goal is to find out what the length of these two things are. And how can we find that? Well, as we mentioned before, triangles are similar, which means their corresponding sides are going to be proportional. So from a large triangle to a small triangle, which, and what do they do? They divide it by four to get the corresponding side, right? Which means for finding ED, which is corresponding to BA, because they are both opposite from the right angle, we know that we have to divide the large side by what? Four in order to get the short side. And same thing for 21 to become EF, which is just dividing by four. Does that make sense? How, we, how do we know to divide by four? Because 20 and five, they're corresponding. And what was their proportion? They divided by four. Therefore, we divide all the remaining side lengths to find out the missing lengths. So what is DE going to be? DE is going to be 29 divided by four, which is going to be 29 over four. And what's EF going to be? Is 21 divided by four, so it's gonna be 21 over four. So DE is 29 over four minus EF, which is 21 over four, which is going to be eight over four, which is going to be two. And our answer is going to be choice B. Does that make sense? So if you're doing this on the actual SAT, you would just look at that this, these two triangles are similar and it goes from 20 to five, then divide by four. That means you divide both sides by four, find the missing lengths and subtract it and you find your answer. That's how it would work out. It just took long because I was explaining every single step of the way. It would take like literally 30 seconds to solve this question and move on to the next one. But thing is guys, we were able to just divide by four and find the missing lengths easily like that because numbers worked out evenly, 20 and five, and we know that it's divided by four. But what if it was like, what if it was like 20 divided by three? Then like, we don't really know exactly what we have to divide by in order to go from 20 to three, right? If, if this is the case, if the numbers are not working out, which hard similar triangle questions usually don't, what you have to use is something known as the short over long method, okay? So where does this short over long method come from? If you look at the definition of similar triangle, it means that side lengths are going to be proportional, right? In other words, that means they're going to have a consistent ratio of corresponding side lengths. Does that make sense? If not, let me explain what it means. The the ratio, let me just use the regular number as an example. So the ratio of corresponding side lengths, right? So there's number, there's five right there and there's 20 and they are going to be corresponding side length because they are opposite from the exact same angles. So what's their ratio going to be? For short, it's going to be five and for long, it's going to be 20, right? Now that is the ratio of the side lengths, right? That's the ratio of the corresponding side lengths. And if, the, if two triangles are similar, what has to happen? There has to be a consistent ratio of corresponding side lengths. 
which means the ratio of this side to this side and this side to this side also have to be the same. So for instance, um, EF is the short one. You have to make sure that um, short is always on top and large is on the bottom. You have to make sure it's consistent throughout. You don't want to mess that up. So EF is the short side and BC is the uh, long side. So it's going to be 21. And for this side, it's going to be ED over 29. And how do you find the missing side lengths? You just use one of these and one of these and set them equal to each other because they are actually equal to each other. So to find EF, what you would do is 5 over 20 is equal to EF over 21. And fraction equals fraction. What do you do? You cross multiply. 5 times 21 is going to be 105 is equal to 20 EF. And you just divide EF by 20. It's going to be 105 over 20. If you simplify, it's going to be 21 over 4. Okay, So 21 over 4 is going to be EF. And same thing to find ED, it's going to be 5 over 20, it's going to be ED over 29. And that's going to be, what is it going to be? 145 is equal to 20 ED. And divide by 20, ED is equal to 145 over 20, which is going to be 29 over 4. Now, guys, don't worry, this is number 16, which means it's going to be a calculator section because for non-calc section, multiple choice ends at 15, right? But if you have a multiple choice that goes up until 16, we know that this is going to be a calculator question. So you're going to be able to use your calculator. You don't have to do this in your head. Now, we found out what ED and EF are and you just subtract it. It's going to be 29 over 4, 21 over 4. It's going to be 8 over 4. Four, which is going to be two and that is going to be our answer which is is, is the exact same thing we got previously okay so those are just two ways to get the answers for similar triangle questions for easy one just use this first method but when it comes to a harder one which we are about to do in a second make sure you remember the short long short long short long method okay so let's go into the next question the question says in the right triangle abc above <clears throat> BE is 5 and AB is 12. And if the length of AC is one unit more than twice the length of DE, what's the length of DE? So essentially, <clears throat> excuse me, what we're looking for is the length of DE right there. And let's just write down what the question tells us. It says BE is 5. Okay, so this thing is 5 right there. And AB is 12. So this big chunk right here is going to be 12. And it also says AC is one unit more than twice the length of DE. So it says AC is one more plus one than twice the length of the E, two D E, right? And the question is asking us to find out what D E is, right? So the moment we see this question, we see two triangles, right? Triangle within a triangle. So there's a very high chance that it could be similar triangles. But first you wanna make sure that these two triangles are similar. And how can we make sure that they are similar if they have same set of angles? then we know two triangles are similar. So let's see if they have same set of angles. So if we look at this right here, this is going to be a right angle right here because that's a right angle right there. So there's right angle, right angle. Okay, they have one set of angle, that's correct. And if you look at B right here, they also have, they share this angle because small triangle has B, but the big triangle also has B. So we know that second angle also checks out. What about the third angle? Well, third remaining angle is going to be right here. And one, two, three. And C is also going to be the third remaining angle. And because we have two of the same angle, two of the same angle, we know the third one automatically checks out to be the same. So because they have same set of triangle, same set of angles now, we know two triangles are going to be similar. So if we go back here, we can start using similar triangle tactics to solve this question. But the problem is, remember this question where we could easily find out like multiply or divide by a certain number to get the other length? We can't really do it for this question because there's there's nothing we really know. There's not a set of side lengths that we can just easily multiply or divide by. So for this one, we're gonna use what's called the short, long, short, long method, which we, we which is what we just covered in the previous slide. So we know that, so first let's mark the similar, similar angles. So first let's mark the corresponding angles and what's right there. So if you look at angle C and angle D, they are all, they are going to be the corresponding angles, which means the opposite side lengths are going to be course, uh, proportional. So the large triangle, remember short, long, short, long. For the small triangle, it was five. And for the large triangle, it's going to be 
well, right? And throughout the triangle, we know their side lengths have to be proportional, which means they're going to have the same ratio. So let's identify which side lengths are corresponding. So if we look at this 90 degree right there, that's going to be BC, right? So that's going to be from a large triangle. So it's going to be BC right there. And from a small triangle, large uh, 90 degrees is going to be BD because it's opposite from 90 degree angle. So it's going to be BD, right? And one that's missing now is going to be opposite from B, which is DE for small triangle. And for large triangle, it's going to be AC. Okay, we have this, but do we have to find everything? Not really, because we are only looking for length of DE. And where is DE? DE is in this portion right there. So five over 12, we're gonna set them equal to each other, DE over AC. And if we think about it, we know that AC is actually same as two DE plus one. So what we do is we plug it into AC. So five over 12 is going to be DE over two DE plus one. And how do you do it? Fraction equal to fraction, you just multiply them, cross multiply. So it becomes 10 DE plus five is equal to 12 DE and subtract 10, subtract 10, this becomes five is equal to two DE. And we know DE, just divide, it's going to be DE is equal to five over two, right? And what the question asking, what's the length of DE is five over two. So our answer is going to be B. Does that make sense? So some of you guys might be like mind blown right now, like what the heck just happened here and how did he get five over two? Guys, this is the hardest possible version of a similar triangle. Like it can't get any harder than this question. So if you can solve this question, you can be confident that you can solve any similar triangle questions that shows up on the SAT. So long story short, if you, don't, if you don't have too much time left right now, you're like a senior trying to take one more, make sure you just focus on this type of question, multiplying, like identifying similar triangle and finding the proportion. But if you're trying to get that high 1600, get the perfect score, you're gonna have to know how to solve this question. There's just no way around it. And guys, don't be stressed out that you are not getting it the first time we actually went over this. This is a super tough concept for you to swallow. I mean, if you get it the first time, you're the weird one. You're supposed to watch it five, six different times to actually know what's going on in this question. So guys, don't stress it out. Watch a couple of times and you're gonna be good to go. So that's exactly what you need to know about similar triangle question. So exactly when is it considered similar? The triangle is similar when they have exact same set of angles. And what does it mean to be similar? It means that their side lengths are going to be proportional. They have the same exact ratio. So guys, if you're like freaking out right now because what we just went over is not making any sense at all, don't worry because in the description box down below, there's going to be a link to a private lecture on similar triangle. That video is gonna go over what I just did in more detailed step-by-step -step fashion and it's gonna give you, it's gonna go a lot slower and, and elaborating on exactly what I did in that question. I highly recommend if that's not making sense, go to the lecture, watch the video, master it, and then come back to this video and see how, how I solved that question and it's gonna make so much more sense. Anyways guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. New videos dropping every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 3.30 p.m. And if you guys have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section down below. And if there's something you wanna see next, also leave it in the comment box. Also guys, there's also going to be a link to a private Facebook group down below. It's a community of high school students who are very motivated and they are studying for the SAT right now. So I'm gonna share even more tips and tricks that I don't share on YouTube page. So if you're currently preparing, I highly recommend you join the group, become part of the community, ask questions, help each other out and start preparing for the SAT and get the score of your dreams. I think I mentioned it, but I'm gonna say it again because we're trying to go for a thousand subs right now. So thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. If anyone's looking for this kind of video, share it with your friends. That's it for today. I'll see you guys in the next one. For the stores, my friend, when I'm not down to earth, try to